This is the Prevail Point Podcast with motivational speaker, best-selling author, and entrepreneur, Janari Arsikoto. A show dedicated to offering practical, real-life pointers on how to live a life of victory. Here's your host, Janari. Hello, everyone. I am so excited that you have joined me on The Prevail Point with your host, Janari Arce Caro, the author of Prevail, The Process of Overcoming. I haven't shared for a few weeks and I have missed you terribly. I promise when you finish listening to this podcast, your day will be so much better. Last week, we celebrated Thanksgiving, and I thank God that in the U.S., we do have the celebration of giving thanks, but we have to remind ourselves that every day, we need to be thankful. Every day, we have something to be thankful for, and a lot of times, life just beats us up. Anxiety, fear, panic takes over, and we forget that we have another life to live. Guess what? In my book, Prevail, The Process of Overcoming, Chapter 14. My title is, What Makes You Miserable Today, You Will Thank God For Tomorrow. It's amazing when we look back at our lives and we see some situations that we've gone through and we see how we've overcome them. We see how much better we are because of them. And today, we could thank God for what made us miserable yesterday. I want you to think about maybe a situation you've gone through, maybe a problem you have gone through, and start thinking about how much of a better person you are today because of that situation you went through. It stretched you. It got you better. It got you stronger. And now you're able to overcome even stronger battles to get to another level in your life. And I want you to start thinking about those moments before you start thinking about this year, This year has definitely been a year that's going to be put in the history books, a year of uncertain times, of unprecedented times. The year is not over yet. We're still in 2020. The year is almost over, but we still are here and we still are going through experiences. We still are going through things that are making us the version, the better version of who we are. And I want to thank God today for you. I want to thank God because you're listening to me today. I want to thank God because God put you in my path so that I could encourage you, so that I could inspire you, so that you can become better as I become better. But I was writing this, while I was writing this chapter, chapter 14, what makes you miserable today, you will thank God for tomorrow. I started realizing that you cannot put your energy in a place where you are about to leave. Sometimes we focus on the situation so much that we think we're going to be there every day of our lives. And the reality of it is, is that we're putting so much energy in a situation that we might leave tomorrow. Your answer might be right in your footsteps. The promise might be right there when you wake up tomorrow. As the Bible says, the joy comes in the morning. And I have to remind you that that situation you're going through is not going to be forever. You will overcome. You will prevail. And I have to make you understand that thankfulness is one of the tools that God uses for you to become better. You know, the Bible says, and and it's amazing because I've used this verse so many times in Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition. And listen to this with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Jesus Christ. Do we need the peace of God this year? We need it every year. We need it every minute, every second of our lives. You know, being thankful takes away anxiety. Being thankful takes away bitterness. You know, sometimes in these holiday seasons, a lot of people are bitter. A lot of people are sour. A lot of people are depressed and saddened because maybe they're not united in their families. Maybe they're not where they want to be. 
But I want you to understand that God does have a plan for you individually as a person, as a family. He is looking at you and your circumstance. He loves you and he wants you to be a better version of yourself. Look at what it says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. God's will for you is to rejoice always. And maybe you tell yourself, how could that be God's will for me when I'm miserable, when I'm sad, when I'm depressed, when I'm anxious, when maybe a loved one passed away, when maybe you didn't realize that this year you were going to lose your job, that maybe you didn't realize maybe this year you were going to get a divorce or there was going to be a, a, a breakage in your family that you were not expecting. Maybe you got ill. Maybe you got sick. Maybe you ended up in the hospital. But guess what? If you're listening to me today, you're still alive. If you're listening to me today, it's because you still have an opportunity to rejoice. And part of that rejoicing is, is connected to praying continually. That's connected to, to giving thanks in all circumstances. And that's connected to God saying, this is the will I have for you in Christ Jesus to rejoice always. Invited into the world of Ginari Arce Cotto, entrepreneur, influencer, public speaker, and best selling author. But everyone has a story. Prevail, the process of overcoming is hers. It's a story of a woman who came from humble beginnings and her daughter who had all the odds stacked against them. But in spite of all of the abuse, shame, infidelity, rape, and misogyny, they found strength through their faith in Jesus Christ to prevail over it all. Available everywhere books, ebooks, and audiobooks are sold in Spanish and in English. Could we agree that what God wants to for us is to be in peace? Could we agree that what God wants for us is good and not bad? Could we agree that God wants to bless us and not punish us? Could we agree that God wants us to take us to another level and not to stay stuck where we're at? Could we agree that we have a good God and that God is good all the time and all the time God is good? Could you say that with me today? Could you look at yourself in the mirror and say God is good all the time and all the time God is good, although you might not feel that you are rejoicing today? God is telling you rejoice always. The circumstances that you're in are not going to be forever. Don't put too much energy in a place you are about to leave. Whatever you focus on grows. And if you're focusing on the negative, it's going to grow. So why not focus on the, the word of God? Why not focus on praying continually? Why not focus on the goodness that God has for you? You might not see it today, but joy comes in the morning. Tomorrow, it might be better. Hey, 2020 is a year that's gonna go down in the history books. I said it before and I will say it again. But 2020 is almost over. 2021 is coming around the corner. Make the best out of every day that you are in. Be thankful. Devote yourself in prayer. Being watchful and being thankful. Devote yourself in prayer. Devote yourself in being watchful and seeing what's going on around you and making the good decision. Asking God, give me wisdom so I can make the right decisions in our lives. Please, please, please understand that whatever you're going through today is to make you into the person you need to be tomorrow. Embrace the journey of growth, of pain, of struggle, and develop to become the person God has destined you to be. Understand this. It's the blind spots that give you focus. It's those spots in your life that maybe you don't notice, that maybe somebody else has to let you know, hey, you need to fix this and that, that says, okay, I need to get better. That says, okay, God wants me to become stronger. God wants me to become better. God wants me to become a better version of myself. It's the blind spots that give you focus. You're not supposed to know everything. 
You're not supposed to know the future, but you are supposed to hang on to your creator through the process. Could we agree on that? You know, it says, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Since as members of one body, you are called to peace and be thankful. There goes that word again. Be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell amongst you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in the word or in deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. That's all in the Bible, guys. Galatians 3, 15 through 17. Giving thanks is so important. Understanding that where you're at today is just going to make you better. Don't stay stuck in the journey of life. Don't stay stuck. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from the experience and become better. This year, if you have not focused on becoming better, you still have time. It's not December 31st yet. You still have time to become better and change those habits that maybe were not getting you where you needed to go. Change who you are by the decisions that you make, by the thoughts that go into your mind. There's still time. You know, there's still time to prevail. There's still time to be thankful. There's still time for you because you are here. This year, over 250,000 people passed away from COVID and other sicknesses but you're still here. God has still chosen you to do something big, to do something different, to make a difference in this life. God has still chosen you to become who God has created you to be. You know what it is? Do you need to start a business? Do you need to change your job? Do you need to get a promotion? Do you need to make some changes in your health, in your spiritual life, in your mental life, in your psychological life, in your emotional life? Do you need to get some people out of your life so that you could become better? This is the year. You know, we all, almost all of us are working from home. You have time to start focusing on the things that you need to get better on. But today, you are either thankful or you are bitter. Which one is it? You are either thankful or you are anxious. Which one is it? You are either thankful or you're either depressed. Which one is it? Do me a favor. Before or after this is over, write down a list of things that you are thankful for. It would change your mentality of how you are. Be thankful for seeing, for walking, for talking, for having relationships, or maybe not having the relationships that you thought you should have because God wants you alone in this season to grow. You know, sometimes being alone is the will of God. So that you can focus on what God has for you and your future. I want to bless you and your family today. I want you to understand that Thanksgiving should not be the only time that you sit down with your family and are thankful. It's something that you should do every single day of your life. Every single minute of your life. Even if you don't understand the circumstances. Even if you feel you're in a turmoil or in torment. Be thankful because that's getting you closer to the destiny that God has for you. God bless you and your family. I want you to understand that what makes you miserable today, you will thank God for tomorrow. God bless you and your family. And I will speak to you next week. Goodbye. Thank you for listening to The Prevail Point with Janari R.C. Cotto. Order her book, Prevail, The Process of Overcoming on Amazon.com or wherever books or audiobooks are sold. We'll see you next time.